So yeah, I was uh, driving home and I saw a little baby squirrel that had, ooh, hold on. Hold on, little baby squirrel. We got a dung beetle to get. Look at that little guy. He thinks it's poop. Hey, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. This is day three on our new island home, so if you missed any episodes so far, please check out the description. There's a playlist for you. Last time, a lot of big developments on Duckleberry. We learned how to craft, somebody's moving in, but first, Tom Nook is gonna tell us what zones are safe as the Battle Royale begins. He's got an announcement. Testing, testing, test, test, test. Hello, Ari! Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh dear, so, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello, everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, goings-on, and such, hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. You said island a lot. Almost as much as I have. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Duckleberry Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all, no, no, the airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day. So please do drop by for a look. Have some sympathy, we do need to sleep. Oh, I do have one other item to share and it too is a whopper, hmm? As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Dugglebury. Blathers has a keen interest in biology past and present, and he's here to study Duckleberry. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. I do, do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Duckleberry living. I'm gonna go play the Switch. Tom, Tommy, Thomas, don't touch that. I put that out there even though it's freezing cold. Do not push the power button when it's saving. Tom, you'll kill us all! Okay, so last time we learned to craft. I got some tools in my uh, big noggin there, as you can see. I don't remember dropping something here, but I probably did. Must have, who else would it be? Shari wouldn't leave something. Oh, it's a retro radiator I dropped because we can't put that on a wall until we have walls. We only have a tent. So let's grab our mail. There's something glowing in the background. Oh, mom. I don't know how mom knew where I moved. I didn't tell her, but my dear Adam, Whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took off each day. My arm is exhausted. Enjoy your fresh start, Mom. Okay. Mom with the uh, the dad jokes, but moms can make them too. Uh, the snow boy. <laughs> my old friend. He's already starting to melt, I think. Thanks. As a special treat for making me, I'm going to teach you how to make one cool item. But if you've never done a DIY project before, you should take the DIY workshop held in resident services. You're cool, bud. Snowboy. Lots of, uh, yeah, puns all around in this game. So, yeah, the snowboy was like, you don't even know how to craft. You can't have one of my special recipes. Go learn a thing or two. An ice wand? Wow. Hmm, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for an ice wand. I didn't think we were gonna get any magic going on this island this early. There is a present magically floating by. I've got some oranges from mom. Oh, we don't have oranges here, so that's a nice little treat. I cannot get that until we can craft a slingshot, which I believe we got the recipe for, but, uh, or I might have bought it, but we, we don't have the wood to make it. There's a, a few things we have to do first to be able to make that happen. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. Shari's around. Before I really talk to everybody and uh, and see what everyone's up to, I'm going to try to remember to leave a snowball around because we do want to get a dung beetle. But I'm gonna go talk to the newest resident because look, we got a tent. I hate leaving that balloon floating by, but of course can't do anything about it just yet. So let's go open up this uh, tent with an owl. Is that, oh, it's a, a shovel, a spade. I thought he had a knife just sitting out there. It's <laughs> like, Blathers, what are you gonna be doing with the fish I give you? Let's talk to him, our old friend. Tom invited him over. Sorry if my hat's poking you in the eyes. Ooh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. 
Aha! Could it be that you are Adam, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to hold a museum and or open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though I confess there is one smallish problem regarding said museum, and that is I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too, whoo! As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say, I just, I can't just hop over it, you say? Hmm, silly you, I have a solution, as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. <laughs> I love when his eyes get a little, a little crazy. Pardon me, Adam, while I transmit the vital, vital of course, but I say things a little odd, data to your Nook phone. Boop. Here he goes. He's gonna give me some feathers and I'll just flap my way across the, ooh. My controller vibrated. <laughs> I forgot that was going to happen. There, you see, with wood gathered from Duckleberry, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. Hooty hoo! I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, Adam, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long. But let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. This is something we're not going to see very long if I'm uh, doing well with gathering things. We definitely want to try to speed things along, but I want to appreciate Blathers' tent here. And uh, why can't I just use that shovel and a little hat? to look even cuter, here we go. So yeah, I, I have a few things I could donate to him already. Let's do a little bit here, and then we'll go around and find some more to give this little owl. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance, I'm here to help. Woo! And make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Let's give him the scourge of everyone's island. A wasp. Yeek, a wasp! The horror, the repugnance, good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Ahem, I beg your pardon. Bugs, I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. <clears throat> Whoo, allow me to share a fact with you. Wasps are sometimes called meat bees because they eat meat, meat, or of almost any sort. Surely you've seen what a menace they make of themselves at picnics. Tis hardly the worst of it. What, what? Aggressive predators with venomous stingers, wasps not only hunt and eat other insects, they paralyze their prey, then drag their victims home alive, leaving them for their larva to feed upon. Suddenly a simple sting seems quite tolerable. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bogs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Right in my feathers. There we go. Tuck it under the wing. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else you might uh, that could be donated, and if so, might I take it from you? Let's do one more here. Marvelous. We're gonna give him the snapper, and then we'll go find some more stuff, and uh, and talk about. I I feel like it's time to to confront one of my challenges. Pooty hoo! This must be a red snapper. Let's give him some. Uh, let's. let's uh, Let's indulge him and let him give us some facts. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Red snapper is the common name of dozens of fish species, and I wonder why it is so popular. Oh, there's so many types of fish that are both a shade of red and have a tendency to snap. Were there no other names? What about burgundy biter, garnet grasper, puce pincher? It's just going insane over here. It's been a long flight over to the island. I'm on edge. And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Alright, don't want to leave that in there for too long. It's just gonna, like, 
leak out of his feathers. With this, we need 13 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Woo! All right, see you, Blathers. So the five that we gave him originally, to, gave to Tom, didn't count. I think Tom probably ate them or something. The, uh, the Tanukis are omnivorous. We're gonna need to do some crafting here. If I'm gonna be getting any uh, any good stuff from around the island, I'll just see if there's anything around. I do want to save some of my bells because I did find uh, that glowy spot. Look at the snow boy. Aw, poor guy's a little to the side. Would you believe me if I told you I was an alien? I mean, I did fall from the sky, you know. Actually, I fell in a million pieces. I'm like an entirely entire alien civilization. <laughs> All right, that guy's weird. Let's not talk to him anymore. He's got, he's got some theories. So. The main crafting table we're gonna have to go in here, or the workbench, I guess I should call it. This isn't Minecraft. Is gonna be in here. So let's uh, let's make some stuff. I think we're gonna have to start with an axe so we can get wood, and then once we have wood, we can make some other stuff like the slingshot. Hopefully, the vaulting pole. We got our two-day mile bonus. Let's just see if there's any other stuff in here. I got a little bit of bells going. I would love. <gasps> Well, I didn't actually get these yet, but I, if you remember, my, my challenge is... Oh, I'd like both of these shirts, honestly. Just a big shirt with my first initial is great. Um, but yeah, one of my, my challenges... Uh, the first one that I started that I came up with myself is when I actually get glasses in the game, not when I first see them. I'm going to try to get glasses in real life or get that, that process going, because that would just help me. My eyesight's not too bad, but you know, it could be... A little better. I do like that knit cap. Hmm. Yellow seems to be the cover or the the color of uh, of this game so far. There's yellow tents all over the place. Got a yellow shirt. And then yeah, we don't need to check anything else right now. Let's go craft some stuff. I did get. Ooh, we went shopping, so I think we unlocked. There we go. Shop to it. Living on a remote island doesn't mean you have to go without life's luxury. Shop to your heart's content with Nook shopping. You'll earn Nook miles. There we go. We're an internet surfer. And so are you if you're watching this. So, yeah, I uh, the second challenge, something that actually did happen, we got Blathers here. So this was Cramped Turtle. The, uh, the viewer and commenter suggested that I should try to talk about something positive that I've, uh, I've done in life when I complete a major task. And I, I think getting Blathers here counts, even if we don't have the full museum. We are going to need some star fragments. And then we'll we'll have our first wand. That's really quick. I think we ought to prioritize getting an axe and a shovel going. So I'll craft a flimsy axe and speed it up a little bit by cramming that A button. And then uh, can we make a shovel? All right, no, we need five hardwood. Not going to worry about a watering can just yet. Vaulting pole is five softwood. I wouldn't want to vault with a pole that is made with a softer wood, but maybe that's not how it works. And then uh, I, we did not buy the slingshot recipe, so I should get that so we can get balloons. And I believe that also uses uh, some wood from the trees. So we're not going to be making much out of sticks, but we do need the handle, you know, the sticks for handles for stuff. We're going to sell to Timmy here. I got, you know, the snapper can go. It's going to get rid of some of the stuff that I'm not too worried about. We did make that hay bed. Not actually too much that I want to sell. Honestly, we want to plant these because these are not from here. And they're going to make us buku bells. So let's get rid of that. And done. 3,000. I basically doubled my money almost. <laughs> All right. After Anna, we bought some, what I had left over after buying a bunch of stuff. Okay. We're going to go out. I'm trying to think. So yeah, I, I didn't prep. I was like, okay, Blathers is here. But I should try to come up with something positive. Let's go around. I'm going to use my axe and start chopping. And uh, keep an eye out. For any insects and stuff. Just go on. I think a good way to do this is to go along the trees in a certain area so I can remember because you can only harvest. Ooh. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. If you're watching this in 3D, then uh, jumped right out on you. The only way to harvest, uh, what you can only get a few, you know, and this axe isn't going to chop trees down, so we don't have to worry about that. Not sharp enough. I do want to be careful and uh, make sure I know. Yeah. So if I hit left, That'll, my net will come out. I want to be ready and maybe chop from the front. So if a wasp comes out, I can just catch him real quick. We talked about that last time. You'll get, you know, hardwood, normal wood, and softwood from these trees. You don't know what you're going to get. It feels like the normal wood is a little harder to come by. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, it's 
they're used for different things, but it does kind of feel like you get certain ones more than others. So, uh, I, so something positive, I guess just off the cuff, this is Animal Crossing. I want to talk about experience I had uh, the last couple years. So we're getting to spring again pretty soon in my neck of the woods here, Northern Hemisphere. And spring of, not, not last year, but 2019, something happened to me when I was driving home. Ooh, rough hewn. Island development is Nook Inc.'s goal. We need a lot of materials to make that happen, so we're giving Lake Nook miles based on how much wood you've chopped from trees. There we go. Specific producer. I'm going to probably probably chop a little bit here so we can get up a good supply, then I have to come back later. So yeah, I was uh, driving home and I saw a little baby squirrel that had, ooh, hold on. Hold on, little baby squirrel. We got a dung beetle to get. Look at that little guy. He thinks it's poop. I probably pulled my net out a little earlier than I needed to. Oh, Teddy, Teddy. I can't even see where it is now. It's behind the tree. I kind of let it uh, creep away. Teddy's watching it. Teddy, show me where it is with your eyes or I'm going to miss it. I, Teddy, I think, is hunting it, but he is just going to scare it away with his big bear pot. Look how big you're making that. Hey, you're going to ruin my snow boy. Oh, oh, there we go. I thought I, was, I lost the chance for a second. There he is. Yes, I caught a dung beetle. This species likes feces. <laughs> okay, let's push this out of the way. I don't want to forget. I think the other one's right there. Yeah. While we're talking, I'll see if I can make a snowboy. So anyways, I uh, I saw a squirrel. It was in the road by a tree when I was driving home. And I drove by, and I was like, no, 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 I got to stop. It was a little... I think sometimes things with nature, I'm always... You got the little bit of the, uh, you don't want to leave it alone. But this was a situation where, you know, I felt like I needed to do something. I turned around, we went back. And it had fallen in the road, and I managed to pick it up. It was very, you know, I don't recommend picking up wild animals in general, but squirrels, I, I don't believe they, uh, they really have rabies or anything, typically, or can get it that common. And it was a baby. It, was, it had fallen out of the tree. It was right around the age where it was going to be close to maybe venturing out. But, you know, its eyes were open. It was looking just like a smaller squirrel, but it was very, very cute and friendly because it was so innocent. It didn't really know to be scared, honestly, but it had fallen. And uh, it's very common for baby squirrels when they're getting close to be, you know, kicked out of the nest and go off on their own to actually fall out of trees. I learned a lot from uh, from talking to some wildlife uh, you know, people that rehabilitate or help with wildlife around here, like the SPCA. And, uh, yeah, I learned that they, uh, they're very often gonna fall, and then they get a bloody nose, and it can be a little scary to see a squirrel sneeze and a little bit of blood comes out, but that is actually just they bonked their nose when they fell, and, uh, it was, it was sad. I named him Lil Sneezy, because he kept sneezing. And managed to find someone, because I had never done this before, I didn't know to just go to the SPCA. You know, if you have a local SPCA, you just take them there and uh, usually call ahead. But I didn't know, and I, I talked to someone who rehabilitates wildlife, and she took them in, and I hope they ended up doing well. I think this is probably, he's, this is going to be a big boy. Let's see, it's big boy season. Is that the right? Oh, you're looking at pure snow folk perfection right here, but you know that. You made me. I'm the real deal, thanks to you, bud. I'm perfect in every way that involves rounded snow. You know how to build a snow person. I can't praise you enough for your top-notch snow sculpting skills. Whoa, that's kind of hard to say. I think it's only appropriate that I share a DIY recipe with such a gifted snow crafter. Let's see. I know, I'll show you how to make a frozen counter. Check out your Nook phone. Does he have a phone in there somewhere? <laughs> and take a large snowflake too, it's required to craft the item. I put your thank you gift among your belongings. Now go on and craft an item that will remind you of me. I was built cool and it's all because of you, bud. Thank you so much. I, I kind of figured, yeah, I think his head, the last one, his head needed to be a little bit bigger, not that much smaller than his body to get that perfect snowboy. My second one, not too bad, but I've had, you know, other games of making snow people under my belt. A snow maestro, what's this? You got nook miles based on how many quality snow folks you built? That's a pretty good deal for just having a little fun in the snow. There we go. Cold, sensitive, sprite. And then, yeah, so, so that went well. And then just last year, 2020, I was on a walk, a very similar time of year in the spring, and found 
a very wet, very scared baby groundhog that was near a, uh, a little river that I go by, and it was very sad. Ooh, not. Ooh, man, give me a lot of chances. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't close enough. Uh, yeah, there was a, it was a scared little baby groundhog, and I, you know, I took my hoodie off. I was like, I'm gonna kind of pick it up safely with that, move it over, you know, out. It was on the sidewalk, so it was like, I want to get it off of here and move it over. And I figured, you know, I'll I'll come back around when I come back from my walk and see if it's still there because I wanted to give, you know, its parent. Uh, unlike the squirrel, which was it was going to be impossible to get it back up in the tree to its nest. I figured the baby groundhog, maybe the the parent would come by and find it and maybe help it. But by the time I came back, it had already crawled back to the sidewalk because it was cold and I believe it it wanted to warm up, so it was going out on the sidewalk in the sun. And so I, you know, I went, I was like, okay, I'm going to get home, I'm going to come back, got a cardboard box, some gloves. This time I knew what I was doing a little more and got it and got it to the SPCA. And uh, that one I named Hopscotch, even though I only briefly, only briefly, ooh, we don't have much here in our, yeah, we, uh, we filled up our inventory. I'm just going to toss out this Venus comb for now. Uh, but yeah, I named it Hopscotch because it was on, oh no, another blue. It was on the the sidewalk, so just say uh, yeah. Some names related to how they were uh, they're struggling, so I, it's it's the way I remember them too, though. But yeah, I'm I'll plant a couple of these around while we're talking. It was uh, it was another one of those experiences where it was a little like, should I? You know, you, it's always a little scary to intervene with stuff like that. But I'm glad I did, and each one I've learned a lot from maybe this spring I'll they'll find another little baby animal that needs help so I hope I did the right thing in the long run uh, at the very least I think they probably ended up living a longer life than they would have otherwise so I am I am uh, happy looking back on it that's something positive you know just I think this is a uh, yeah I think I mentioned before I was like this challenge I don't want it to be like a bragging thing about things in life I just think it's something it's nice it makes I, I honestly do feel a little better about uh, just, you know, doing something that I feel was right, and, uh, yeah, and it, it connects to animals, so <laughs> I figured it would be a fun story to bring up, and maybe a little bit of uh, knowledge if you've never run into baby animal in need that might be good for you guys to, uh, to know as well. I'm gonna go sell some of this, because I think we got, you know, we got a few things. I should drop this dung beetle off. A couple of these things I actually should just drop off. I don't have a storage container, but you know that never hurt to ooh, to just drop it on the floor outside my house. This looks like a relatively big fish. Let's see. It's it's a yeah, it's a real big fish. So much so that it might be playing some ska here soon. Turn toward it. Turn the other ways. I'm hopeful that nope. <laughs> it's it's like a little cat ignoring its food. I'm going to try to listen. Uh -huh. It's very faint for me. There we go. Yeah. I'm trying to do, do a combination of listening, feeling the vibration, and uh, watching it to uh, watch the shadow. I caught a carp. If I catch another, they can carpool. Can't carry anything else. I think we already did have a carp before, and I think I gave that to, to Tom. So that's technically already in the museum. All right, so I'm gonna drop some things. It's not gonna be pretty around here with uh, with all the snowflakes and everything going all over the place, but I wanna make sure I have enough room to uh, keep some of this. Let's throw the hay bed down. I think uh, it's a little flammable to be putting right here, but yeah, you can, you can rest and watch the sea. Just sleep by the ocean. Probably not the, the smartest idea, but this little guy also came to this island with no money to his name. So, okay. Let's, uh, yeah, once we get a shovel, I will plant these. And then some of the stuff, yeah, I can sell. These two we'll get rid of. And then the dung beetle. That's for blathers. Let's, uh, let's go in. Yeah, I want to grab these real quick because I dropped a couple shells along the way. Like a forgetful child. Where's the other one? I already forgot where I dropped it. It was probably over where I got the butterfly. It's around here. I already hear another bug that we want to get. The uh, the mole cricket is chirping upside down. Or up, un underground. <laughs> Could be upside down under there. It makes me think of Mother 3. 
the mole crickets. That's the first way I heard about them. I don't think I saw them in Animal Crossing originally. It was just seeing them in uh, in Mother 3 and the important role they play from the very beginning. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the conch shell. And then the... Oh, I already have the Venus comb. Okay, no wonder I couldn't find it. I'm, uh, I'm too focused on thinking about getting some bugs and things. That should be enough. There we go. We're not doing too bad. If we were trying to pay off a loan instead of using Nook Miles to do it, I think we'd be doing pretty good, but we're, we're getting miles as we go. Speaking of which... Go ahead, be shellfish. You can earn Nook Miles based on the number of seashells you sell. That's not easy to say. And remember, you'll get different amounts of bells for different types of shells, so pay attention. Normally, a shell-grabbing shell fan like myself, I would suggest... Saving them and storing them because you can make things later that sell for more crafted stuff other than fruit crafted things do sell for double So but right now I'm just selling them. We need the bells. Okay, so we got Ooh, look at this I could make this ice counter with mysterious liquids and just have this really fancy bar looking thing in my tent But maybe I'll hold off on that for now because I want to make the shovel. There we go We got enough hardwood for that We've only harvested like half the side of the island. Did I get an? I didn't actually check if I have enough to make the pole vault. We might be, yeah, we got one more than we need. Now, we are already able to explore another whole part of the island. That's a big, big thing. And then uh, we need one more hardwood for that, that little slingshot. And then, yeah, we can make a bunch of other stuff, but right now I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's, uh, yeah, I wanna get my tools organized. I might leave my umbrella in case, uh, you know, if we need it later, of course, we can we can get it. But I think I'm going to leave it for now because I don't really honestly need to uh, to have it out. You don't really need it in general, but I don't want to I don't want to clog up my tools until I get the tool wheel because you have to cycle through them to get them. Let's see. Oh, I love Tommy. I'm going to enjoy the time where Tommy's wandering around and ask for some tips. Oh, Adam, it's good to see you. How are you enjoying island life? You know, sometimes when I'm out and about, I'll look up in the sky and see a balloon floating by. They always have something tied to them, too. Who in the world sends these things out like that? If only I had a good way to knock them out of the sky. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking what well, you're thinking, Tommy. That'd be fun if in a future game they had, we got to see, and it was, uh, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the, he's like a, he's all, I think he's a sea otter as well, but he's not like Pascal or uh, Lyle, but there's the, oh no, he's a, is he a sea lion? I'm trying to remember. Phineas, the guy who would give you the badges. He's also in, in City Folk. Yeah, I want to plant these. Where do we want these? I was going to leave the umbrella here. I'll put it in my house or tent. But yeah, Phineas, uh, I, I could see him. He was originally the one who gave you balloons, I believe, in City Folk. So I could see him being the one. He's just somewhere with a giant fan tying things and, uh, he just looks like he would have inherited, like, a company, and he's got so much money, he just buys presents, shoves bells in boxes, and sends them out for little kids. Or a new character that I, we they haven't seen yet that does it would be fun. Let's dig this up. We got a new... I could just go in the inventory and say, hey, hold this. But I like cycling through sometimes. Either, either way, for now, works. Let's open this up, because we're not going to really have a ton of bells to put in there, so I think I'm just going to do... The thousand. Ooh, we almost have ten thousand. Hmm. I, oh, I did it on accident. <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> it's fine. I was gonna put it with my other ones and then wait till I had ten thousand to bury it. But I think it's okay. The bell trees. Later, there is a way to determine uh, if you can get more than I believe it's thirty thousand is the most you should normally get from it if you bury ten thousand. But there's, there's a certain somebody who will say they're feeling lucky in the morning announcements, or they have good luck, and then if they say that, you bury 99,000, you can get three bags of those. Peter, I bet you didn't think you'd find berry bells here, hmm? But this is an island, after all, buried treasure and whatnot. Enjoy some Nook Miles from Nook Inc. to celebrate your discovery. I bet Tom's out there. I am a little bit of the lucky type here, because we got, we got a nice island. Got a couple nice villagers, but yeah, Tom is probably the one, like I was just saying with the balloons, he's out here burying the bells. Where do I want to have... I kind of feel like, yeah, for now, let's keep these oranges close to me so that it'll be really easy to harvest them and get some easy money. And then, you know, we'll worry about or orchards and, and stuff like that later. For now, oops, 
I don't want to put them too close together because they will not grow. In old games, if something didn't grow and it was too close to something, it would just like wilt and die. In this one, it'll just get stuck in a certain stage of development and then you can actually just kind of dig it up with the shovel. He went a little farther than I wanted. Uh, you can dig it up with the shovel and plant it somewhere else. So it's like, there's so much things that have been, uh, so many things have been improved and made easier in this game compared to certain other ones. Oh no! Man, we got another. I don't think I, yeah, if you go inside, you will not be able to get the, uh, that's the hardwood I need, right? If you go inside, the balloons reset, so I will not be able to actually get the slingshot and come back out, but I think I should probably, before I get too distracted by all this stuff, I should make that slingshot and come back. I don't think we have a, do we have a recipe to make a, uh, a little crafting stump? I thought we got that from Nintendo. And now I can't remember. We'll be we can check it in our DIY ooh, DIY recipes here. Yeah, we did. Okay, we need we need an iron nugget to do that. So we gotta start hitting some rocks, which I can also do with a shovel. I'm gonna grab my nook miles before I forget. And then yeah, let's let's get some of this going because it we've got some quality of life stuff we need here. Fruit roots. Duckleberry's local fruit delicacy is a wonder to be sure, but if you plant new varieties, guess what'll happen? Correct. You'll grow some nook miles. What you do with the fruit after that is up to you. So we've marked off the orange tree. We're a total freshman, but we got a new variety here, and we'll try to keep collecting those. It might take a while to get all of them. Okay. I'm gonna get my shovel out. There's, so, there's a lot to do here where I haven't even jumped over the river yet. You know, see, there's one rock here. Now, the rocks, as long as you have eight spots around them, uh, if, just think of it like the Brady Bunch and this, the rock is Alice. You can, uh, you can get all of the materials from it, and I'm going to stand right here so that my back, you want to have two things behind you kind of diagonal like that, so then when I hit it, I won't move anywhere, and you can mash that A button and get the max amount of materials. The balloon is really taunting me. Oh, we got the iron. I could make that crafting table. The holes will go away, so eventually I'm gonna have to, you know, set up some other stuff. You might want to plant a couple trees or something that looks nice around there. But, uh, but yeah, for now, <laughs> I'm going to go in there. Let's, let's do some crafting. And then once I have my simple crafting workstation, I will, won't have to worry about having to go inside here. Rock splitting champ. You hit a single rock eight times in a row and knock some things loose, but did you know that rock whacking is an activity that keeps on giving? Yes, yes, you're getting some nook miles now. Sports-minded muscle. I didn't know hitting rocks is a sport. I know there's like tossing rocks. I think, was that a, well, there's the shot put, of course, but I think there's some like Scottish sports of like launching rocks and stuff that are awesome. Okay, we're gonna get some of the other basics here. We got, there we go. Simple DIY workbench. I like the look of this one, honestly. If a stump works to do it, I will, I'll craft on there. Thank you, Tom. The one-handed clap, he's still reading his book. And then, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that. Wherever it is, oh, wait. <gasps> ah, I used the hardwood. <laughs> well, now we don't have to go back in here to craft it. I've got my little crafting table and then I can just get things from this instead. Let's plop it, uh, honestly, I kind of feel like it would be useful towards the center here. I'm just gonna place it down next to my switch. That looks pretty good. There is a mole cricket. Now, the problem with using the shovel to dig stuff up, as it is mostly intended, is that it will break, like all the tools, it will break eventually. I think we already had our, uh, our net break last time. But the, uh, the shovel is really useful for the rocks to hit because it will never break when you're actually hitting a rock. It waits until you are done. Uh, it's very it's very kind, it will never break when you're, so if you had a shovel that was gonna break and you only used it for hitting rocks, I'm trying to listen for that mole cricket, then, uh, then it would feasibly never break. But, you know, you wanna use it for multiple things, so it's not, not that uh, practical to only have a rock hitting shovel. Where is it? I kinda hear it around the snow boy more. Feels like it's real close here. I'm gonna give it a couple shots. If it doesn't turn up, 
There it is. Which way for the net? I'm gonna lose it. I gotta hurry, it's gonna go in the water. Come here, Mole Cricket. Yeah, there we go. Got it pretty early. Yes, I caught a Mole Cricket. I really dug it. So yeah, you can leave the holes and uh, they will eventually get filled in, which is not the best if you wanna have holes all over the place. If you're Shia LaBeouf, then uh, yeah, they're gonna be gone. I believe when the next day, ha or when you come back, I, I think it's the next day. You got the bug, earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. Ugh. Okay, I guess it's a, a freshly delivered egg. I guess it is a, uh, a uninhabited island before we got here, so it's not that weird that they'll be jumping into drawers or whatever. Let's, uh, let's do a couple more of these. I wanna space out the donations so you guys don't have to hear me blathering on too much in a row, but let's do some of these bugs and then, oh, poof. Oh no, it's the end of the line from my tr trusty flimsy net. We'll get those donations and then uh, I might end up saving the pole vaulting onto another uh, area in the island for next time. We'll have that to look forward to. Gonna get a net, there we go. Might be good to bring one of these with me. Iron is fairly precious at this point, so I'm gonna collect as much as I can and not over uh, overuse it on things like extra crafting tables. But I do want to, workbenches, I'll eventually call them that. I do wanna make sure uh, things are convenient so we're not running all over the place. Oh, we found the money rock. I don't know if that pill bug is gonna stay there by the time we're done, but there is one money rock out of them each day. And then, ooh, should probably have the net right next to, oh, there it goes. Oh no, it rolled up and rolled away. I thought I had it, because I did hit the spot. But yeah, we'll get one money rock, and this is one of the better ways to earn money early on, because look how much more we have. And uh, how much, how many nook miles do we have, speaking of which? I think we only need 5,000, oh, we got more than enough, okay. I think we will, let's let's talk to Blathers, donate these. Do we have the hardwood? Oh, we need one more hardwood. Can we do it? I'm gonna <laughs> keep getting distracted. I'm gonna be, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. Grab, 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 and then go, go, go. I love that I can run and not ruin my island. We're gonna try to speed, speed do this and get our first balloon. So many things. This is uh, not a great game for uh, people, or it's a little bit of a struggle for someone who has a hard time focusing on one task, but it helps with multitasking, you know. Okay, slingshot. I think it was headed this way. The, the balloons will always head in one direction. Whoa. Where'd you go? Balloon! Maybe it did go the other way. Probably going around the plaza. They'll head in one direction until there it is, right? I could have stayed here and got it. And then they will, f they'll switch the other way at night. So half the day they'll go, you know, this is going from the east to the west. And then, you know, if the island is oriented that way, I'm not actually sure. And then it'll flip at the night. So it's consistent like that. Clay, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> a little disappointing. You probably couldn't hear it in my voice, <laughs> but uh, I'm a professional. But the the clay is pretty useful early on, so I shouldn't I shouldn't uh, yeah I, I think it'll be used for some stuff not not as much as uh, as iron that I would like. Okay, we will donate. We will go to Tom Nook. We will not get distracted, and then I'm gonna get my little tent upgraded, and I think we'll end out here. Blather's gonna stick around in his tent a little longer. I live yeah. Give me the binoculars. Give me that backpack. You got some good stuff here, buddy. Please let me know if you have any items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Ooh. Got two bugs for you. I know you just love those. Let's go in order of catching them. Here you are, buddy. Don't smell it on the way under your wing. Eek a dung beetle, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. Ah, I see, in that case. <clears throat> what can I say? The aptly named dung beetle feeds on the feces of animals. Whew. You heard right. This putrid pest rolls up balls of dung and then rolls them away to dine on at a later date. As if that weren't atrocious enough, some dung beetles lay their eggs in the feces too. What a dreadful place to raise the young. Any hoot. <laughs> Sorry to get uh, blue on you. Let's see, we've got our mole cricket. Mole cricket, I am just assuming, 
like most bugs, he's not gonna like it. But this is a, a weird, almost like chimera of uh, of bugs, even though of course we know it's its own species. So, but it reminds me of a couple others. Tell us about it, buddy. You're the expert. Oh, I see. In that case, hmm. Be warned, there is nowhere one might hide from the mole cricket. This plump pest has powerful front claws made for digging holes, and oh, how it loves to burrow underground. A cousin to the grasshopper, it also has wings and can easily take to the air. And I swear this is on my pin feathers. Uh, I swear this on my pin feathers. Sorry, it's not walk. Uh, ugh, if it was crawling on his pin feathers. Some have even been seen walking on water. Oh, mercy, I may need a moment. This is making me feel rather woozy. Any hoot. Yeah, he likes to talk about his pin feathers, or we just happen to get a couple things of the same. Uh, yeah, we, 11 donations. We're getting close. Okay. Well, not as close as, yeah. We're almost a third of the way down. I think once we get over the ledge there, we'll, yeah, well, there's four fossils every day that we can dig up. Maybe we'll find most of them. I'm not in too big a rush. I'm going to try to take my time and enjoy island life. Let's finish up here, though. I want to put my slingshot with the other stuff. There we go. And I got my... I like, kind of like to keep my inventory a little organized like this. Keep the crafting stuff together. And then so, it's nice having some of the new stuff pop up over here. So that I'm like, okay, it's all in one area. It doesn't get spread across two rows. But, you know, we're taking it easy. Let's see, I barely fit my head in there with that hat on. <laughs> Thanks, Teddy. Okay, so Tom, I have the miles, buddy. Can you help me out? Oh, Adam, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my moving fees. Mm, oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much, indeed. That is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your move-in fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us, Bolton. Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? It's fine, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't have walls to hang radiators or whatever I got. Ooh, oh, turned into blathers there, sir. Oh, just fine. But consider doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good, hmm? Together, we're reshaping this barren Wistella, I mean, pristine paradise, into a lovely community. Ah, yes, but we mustn't rest on our laurels, hmm? Perhaps there is more we could do. Yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to rebuilding fabulous homes in a re remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing, extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So Adam, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. So yeah, Tom Nook, a little bit suspect. If you've ever seen the Studio Ghibli movie, Ponpoko, the Tanookis in that are kind of rallying against overdevelopment, and then Tom Nook, he's turned tail, he's betrayed his wild brethren, and now he's the developer, so it's a little ironic. Moving fees paid. Thank you for paying all your fees for moving to the island. Take a Nook Miles rebate as a gift and give yourself a nice pat on the back, hmm? There we go, 500, nice. Autonomous life. That is a big step. Not big enough to share another positive thing necessarily. I'm gonna save that to next time. I'm gonna try to do, you know, a challenge, a video at the most. Oh, we are now registered for Nook Miles Redemption Services. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of the Nook Mileage Program. Thank you. Please select. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see what we can get for Nook Miles because there's some good stuff in here. So, we can get these tickets to go find other villagers. Custom Design Pro Editor. That is definitely helpful to make patterns, but we're not too worried about that yet. Pretty good tools recipe. That is pretty good to, uh, you know, not to just uh, repeat what it says, but it, it'll be helpful to have better durability on our tools and things. The tool ring, I would love that as soon as we can get it because that is, uh, yeah. Oh, these are all plus miles only, so we gotta wait a little bit longer till we get Nook Plus. And then, yeah, po better pockets, hairstyles, all that good stuff. Right now, he's like, you can only have some clothes with my branding on it, and these sort of things, yeah. 
some good rugs. I'm going to save my miles, honestly, because uh, I want to make sure we, uh, we, can, we can get some other stuff later. I would like, yeah, I feel like a bandana or something would be nice if we're going to going to focus on getting our plus stuff going or a little backpack would be cute you know what maybe i'll splurge we're gonna get, we're gonna get a lot of stuff here in the future i'm gonna get this we probably get it miles just for doing this so let's do that my redemption request has been processed your selection will be mailed to your home let's do one more i want to check the other pages too because there are uh yeah oh that just look yeah that that groups them i was gonna say you can get special items in the normal shopping let's do a, a backpack I don't mind wearing Nook branded stuff. I love the little leaf icon. Okay. And we'll talk to Nook one last time to finish up here because I would like to get a nice little house going. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears about my home. Oh, Adam, have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? We could stay in a tent forever if we really wanted to. As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. If I could get a home for less than a thousand, yeah, or a thousand dollars, that would be pretty good. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Yes, let's do it. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list, hmm? Mm, let's go a different color. There are four other options. Please choose one. Uh, one of these or one of the previous colors, yes? I'm gonna go with green. That is my favorite color. Okay, you'll have a green roof. A little bit of greenery in the winter. Never hurt. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment, hmm? Here we go. This is the good stuff. Give me those miles. Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Adam. Now when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That is all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? And uh, I fibbed. I'm a fibby boy. Let's let's learn about Nook Miles Plus so we don't have to do that next time and we can start earning them because that is going to be important. We'll jump in here. These are like the uh, the meow, I think they were called meow coupons that was introduced in Welcome Amiibo, this sort of idea of daily challenges. Nook Miles with a plus. Your rank has increased and you can now use Nook Miles Plus services. Nook Miles Plus makes it even easier to earn miles as you go about enjoying island life. Also, special redemption options that only Nook Miles Plus members get. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity. There they are. So, things like catch a horse mackerel, plant trees, redeem Nook Miles. I should have waited to do that. Complete DIY projects and catch snowflakes. We can get uh, two times the miles for that. And we will worry about that next time. Let's kick this hole op over. When you don't have a shovel, you can still kick the dirt into a hole, make it look a little nicer. Thank you guys for watching. We're on our way to get a museum. We did not talk to our villagers, so I do want to do that really quick. <laughs> Keep adding things to the to-do list, but it's important to, to talk to your neighbors. Yo, Cheeky, what's the word? I want to chat. Hey, how'd you sleep last night? This island's so quiet at night. It's almost weird, Cheeky. I mean, don't get me wrong, I slept like a log, but I wouldn't mind some more action around here. Well, go talk to Tom. He's got me running all over the place. I do want to... Uh, do want to find Teddy, and I cannot resist getting more materials before we end because these only refresh once a day. Let's see if we can get. Oh, there we go. Whoa, I got some gold. Okay, I'm glad I did this. Thank you for your time, and thank you for sticking with me because I got some good materials from that rock I would have missed otherwise. And uh, I think there are maybe six rocks on the island, if I'm remembering correctly, and we only have a couple over here three it looks like so i gotta keep an eye out for the rest of those maybe clean up some more weeds and get some more branches next time i don't know if teddy already pole vaulted over the island but i haven't seen him in a little bit i wonder where he is i'm getting ready to uh to jump over there but i will hold off for the next episode i'm already working towards my nook plus <laughs> <laughs> if we can, you know, oh, we didn't do this rock either. If we can get some Nook Plus miles uh, before we end out as well. This is kind of how it's going to go. I'm going to have an estimate for what I want to accomplish in my mind 
in each episode, but in Animal Crossing, stuff is gonna pop up, a bug might fly in your face and you need to catch it, that sort of thing. I don't wanna waste any materials because the more iron we get, the faster we can progress and make this place looking like a proper village, so I'm going to do my best to, uh, to grab this stuff when I can. Teddy's gotta be around here somewhere. Ooh, another new thing. They just keep popping up. Teddy, where are you? We have no time for the airport. I wanna keep this thing watchable for you guys on an easy basis. Teddy, talk to me, buddy. Yo, you've been training, Groof? Let's talk. This place gets me so pumped. The breeze, the crashing waves, nature all around us, it's all awesome. I just wanna jog laps around the island and catch bugs and fish and lift and lift and lift. Groof. Okay, go for it, man. He's kind of just looking at the grass, <laughs> watching the grass grow, and watching me catch dung beetles. One last thing, you get one of these each day. This is from Carmen, the cute artisan. Dear person I don't know, my style's legit always on my mind. I'm always asking, am I operating at peak me? So here's a special recipe that you'll let, that'll let you look however you want, whenever you want. Use this to glitz up your style. So we get a wooden full-length mirror. Ooh, nice, so we can, uh, change our appearance very easily. I believe you get a mirror recipe really early on because they want you to be able to do that when you want, change your hair, whatnot. Okay, that's a lot of stuff, but I'm feeling accomplished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe or hit that little bell notification if you're enjoying things. More games on the way. Thanks again for sticking with me. And if you have any challenge ideas, please leave them in the comments. Maybe you want to share your own, you know, positive things you've had. I've been really enjoying it. I've gotten so many comments from you guys. I've really appreciated it. And uh, thanks again. See you next time.